exciting, you know. Uh, it's uh, it's been a crazy last couple of days or weeks. Uh, so I'm just happy that I can be where I wanted to be and I can focus on one goal only, and that's with the Wizards. And uh, you know, like I said, it's it's exciting to be back where you know I started my NBA career and a lot of things changed, but it's a lot of. Uh, a lot of people that I've known for my years when I was here and uh you know I think the transition it, it makes the transition easier was uh the facility good yeah yeah I think my la my last year uh, the facility was open but you know there's a lot of work that was done here and it's I, I'm really impressed how it looks now and you know a lot of people uh that I know from the club from front office are still here so uh it's nice to see them you know after after three years almost well, so, I mean, that had some, uh, uh, you know, possibilities, uh, you know, and uh, I was trying to figure out what's going to be best situation for me where I can uh, have, you know, some minutes and bigger role that I had in New Orleans or which I would have probably with San Antonio, you know, and uh, obviously when you got ca caught in a situation like that uh, in your contract year, you're trying to look uh, for the best situation uh, and the transition where the transition is going to be the easiest also because I, I know it's just last two months of the season so it has to be quick but I felt like I have a chance uh, to help the team the most and you know uh, being successful so uh, I really like the opportunity from the beginning. I mean I'll, I'll probably get it a little uh, more as the Time goes by, you know, uh, obviously, I think uh, they know what kind of player I am, that I can play in different positions. And, uh, you know, a lot of I like the game the Wizards played this year. I already told them at the beginning of the year when they when we were playing uh, against them that uh, I love the game they play. Very unselfish uh, group of guys that uh, international group of guys that knows how to play and uh, they play hard. So uh, I felt like I can help in that sense, you know, and doesn't really matter what position is going to be, but I think uh, I can play with a lot of lineups or a lot of people uh, on this team. What does it look like to have uh, been covering the team you played for? Yeah. What has this season been like? Uh, very tough, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I was I expected to have a different role in New Orleans, but you know sometimes that's what happens uh, when also you trade it into the situation before the season, and uh, you know it was a little hard for me. Because we had the Olympics, uh, I got injured there. I lost like I missed like two months after the Olympics, so I couldn't really prepare for the season. So I had a slow start, but like things didn't go in my way how I wanted. And uh, it was the first time I really struggled like that, you know, uh, in NBA. But uh, it's a it's a tough league sometimes, you know. When you're in that situation, you got to be mentally resilient. And uh, I'm just glad that you know I I get to I get that fresh start, and especially here where I. Where I know how I can play and how to help Wizards, so uh, I'm very happy for that. When the, the news kind of got out, what was it like uh, having people from the Wizards reach out to you? Yeah, yeah, I talked to a lot of people. You know, a lot of people hit me up on uh, social media. It's nice to see that you know that you still have the support of the organization where you played and where you started your NBA career. And um, I always felt like uh, it's home here. You know, whenever I came with Chicago or even this year with New Orleans, I, a lot of people were calling my name or just like supporting and uh, make, uh, you know, that means a lot to me. Uh, they, they, they're still doing that. So I might say that this helped also to make that this decision because uh, it, it feels like home and it's always easier to, to go somewhere where you like it like this. What's your favorite memory of playing here from your first time here? Uh, the best memory. I mean, just probably for myself, just proving that I, I, I belong in this league. You know, that was, uh, I had some tough times, obviously, especially like my first year, uh, uh, a little bit of a second year as well. But I think that make me mentally or like made me player that I am today. Uh, make me mentally tougher because uh, I had to be ready for the chance. And then, you know, when I get the chance, uh, I was ready for it. And, you know, I I, uh, I took that chance, you know, and, and used that in my favor. And uh, uh, it was great to just to gain the respect, uh, you know, around the league when I played here. And, and just I had I had a great people here. March, Gorta, Yamahimi, Otto Porter, 
Brad, you know, who's still uh, still on the team, and I was always talking to him. So you know, just make uh, friends and uh, you know for for rest of your life. So that's that's great that you can kind of come back to the group. Are you you feel ready to contribute right away? I do. You know, uh, I was working hard even though I wasn't playing. You know, it's tough when you don't play the real game for a long time. But uh, I feel like, uh, I mean, I have enough experience of how to use it right away. And uh, I know that I always compete on the court, so that's not going to be the issue. And uh, physically, like I said, I feel good. The body feels good. So uh, hopefully uh, I can help as much as I possibly can. But physically, I feel ready. Say again. What was the injury? Like, how did you get injured? Uh, yeah, well, so I have a rupture of the, the my flexor muscle. Um, yeah, I had, I played like two games with it. Uh, you know, I shouldn't probably, but there was Olympics, you know, and my country uh, get qualified for Olympics 40 years late, later, uh, or like it was the first time that in 40 years that we qualified. So it was a big deal for us. And we play actually against France and United States. So uh, yeah, it, it was worth it, but you know, it just, you, you know, it just slowed me down a little bit, but uh, Olympics was amazing experience for me. And, you know, I wouldn't uh, change it for anything. You mentioned the international talent on the team. Mm -hmm. What stands out about that group? I played against a lot of them, you know, uh, I think we have, a, we have a lot of size too, you know, if it's uh, Danny or Rui, I played against both of them. Uh, and they really, I can see their progress, you know, I, I'm, I'm a fan of basketball and, and I was following Wizards as well, follow all the teams that I play for. So I saw the, even when you play against them, you see the, their progress of their individual game. And uh, like I say, I like the way they play, the Wizards play uh, from the beginning of this year. And uh, uh, I think it's always helped, you know, not only on the basketball court, but, uh, you know, outside in the locker room, just, uh, you know, talk about different stuff, you know, having same kind of experiences from playing during the summer uh, against these players. So I'm very excited just to meet them a little more and, uh, you know, hopefully going to have a good time. What's it like uh, working with Paul Hunter here now? Yeah, I'm just getting to know him, like you said. Uh, but I had a great uh, conversation through phone with him. You know, I felt like uh, I really like what he's trying to do here, trying to accomplish. And, uh, you know, it was very like I said, very positive feelings uh, after their call. And, uh, you know, uh, I love the way he teaches in, in the film room, you know, and, and in the practices, but that's still early for me. You know, I've been just around like one, two practices. And, uh, but uh, I'm excited about his chance to, to meet him more. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's going to work out. You played against the Wizards yeah. in the last game. Did you fly back with the first or you just... No, I, I stayed. So it was a little bizarre. I'm not going to lie. But uh, it was a hell of a game, though. You know, I thought it's, no, it's not going to finish. Uh, this is after the second overtime. Uh, but yeah, this was a little weird situation that you'll find out in the NBA. This is the first time I'm being traded in the middle of the season and, and going through this situation. So, uh, you know, you have to just uh, be ready for everything. Uh, that's, what they all, that's what NBA is all about. So uh like i said i'm just happy just to be focused now for one thing and one having one goal in my mind good hi right, tomas we got a couple of questions from uh from zoom we'll start with uh zach hey uh tomas how are you hey how are you doing zach to i'm see good you. thank you um you mentioned your olympic experience earlier but what was it like going to tokyo and be the flag bearer for your country Man, that was it was amazing. I think we didn't really realize yet what we accomplished because uh, everything just happened on a go. Uh, we qualified in, in Canada uh, after last season, beating Canada and Greece in the final. You know, and then just qualifying for Olympics. We flew we flew like a week after to Tokyo, so it was amazing experience. Uh, you know, a lot of. Uh, People weren't happy, obviously, with the COVID restrictions. But for us, that was the first time. No one really imagined that we, we're going to have this opportunity ever. So we really enjoy it. Unfortunately, we got France and the United States in the same group, you know, who went to the finals. Uh, but we, we enjoy all, all, everything uh, about the Olympics experience, that's for sure. 
you were one of three NBA players to be a flag bearer. So uh, along with Rui and Patty Mills, so that had to be oh, pretty special, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't understand the last part of the question. Yeah, I mean, that was really one of the biggest uh, honor of my career, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, it's it was very emotional and uh, felt a little bad for fans not to be at the stadium, but it was still amazing atmosphere, you know, and uh, I'm not going to lie. I was more nervous than before, uh, you know, any basketball game, but uh, it was all worth it. And, um, you know, that's that's one of the moments that I'm not going to forget about. Thank you so much. We'll go to Chris Miller. Sato. What up, Chris? What up, man? Welcome back. I appreciate it. Uh, I want to ask, where have you grown in your basketball game since you were here the first time? Well, as I said, I obviously have a lot more experiences, uh, you know, playing a lot of minutes, being that uh, first point guard, even though I had a chance here as well, my second and third season being the uh, starting point guard, especially my third year. Uh, but I think, you know, just have also having also different coaches throughout the career that, you know, give you a lot of experience playing with the different players, knowing the game more, you know, now, you know, more tendencies as you go to your sixth, seven year. Uh, and, you know, obviously this year has been a struggle for me, but uh, I felt I can still have the same confidence I had here and, and the years with the Bulls. So uh, I'm definitely hoping that this is going to help. Uh, you know, me personally as well. Where do you feel like your best serve? Point guard, off ball? Does it really matter to you at this juncture in your career? I think it doesn't really matter. Obviously, uh, what was always my biggest strength was making players around me better, uh, just putting them in the right spots. Uh, but I feel we have so many uh, good players in these terms, like Raul and, uh, and Ish, you know, with so many experiences and uh, I think I can really also what they always gave me a good chance to to be in rotations was that I was a versatile player that who could play in two and three. And uh, I think we have a lot of tall players and so we can have a really big lineup. So that could be something interesting also defensively. Uh, so, you know, I'm not expecting anything uh, specifics, but, you know, I, I feel like coach really can use me in a, multiple positions. Welcome back, man. See you tonight. Appreciate it. See you tonight. We'll go to Troy. Hey, Tomas. Uh, welcome back, my brother. How you doing? Thank you, Troy. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, yeah. So I wanted to ask you a question. Um, since you were, you were talking about, you know, your first time getting traded in season, and you were traded before the season. Uh, since you left DC, what have you learned about the business of basketball, and how do you think that has helped you grow as a person? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've been in different scenarios since I left Wizards and, uh, I always knew it's business, you know, but, uh, you don't want this to happen to you, especially in the middle of the season. Now, you know, I also have two small kids now, three years old daughter and a nine months old son. So, uh, it's very tough on my wife as well, you know, uh, mm, never know what's going to happen. Uh, you know, I was expecting something's going to happen, but you can really, get prepared for that but uh you know I, I just i just knew that this is the this is a, and you know this is a business side of it and, and but that's what we all sign up and sign up for uh you really cannot fight it right you have to just be ready mentally tough and i think that's what i learned uh and just be ready with whatever scenario is ahead of you so uh, like i said it was tough but now i'm glad you know because i'm here and uh, can kind of kind of calm the situation down and, you know, now can just focus to be successful here uh, to make the team better. All right. Thank you, Thomas. And welcome back again. Thank you. Go to Neil. Hey, Sato. First of all, welcome back. Um, good to see you in the Withers gear again. Thank I'm you, Neil. For you, I guess, do you expect to be available tonight? Yeah, I do. I mean, you know, uh, I, I just had to wait for a waivers to be clear uh, that takes two days then officially sign and uh, then join the team so that was this was my first uh, practice with the team or first interaction uh, you know having a shoot around but like I think I can learn on the go and uh, it's up to obviously a coach you know uh, if he if he put me in a game but I'm available physically I said I'm I feel ready and uh, I'm very excited honestly you know just to be 
uh, again, uh, within the team and, you know, uh, playing minutes. And obviously, you know, you've had a relationship with Tommy Shepard for a long time now. Yeah. I'm curious, just, you know, even after you had, you know, gone to Chicago, <laughs> gone to New Orleans, and I don't know what the rules are, but, you know, do they keep in touch, you know, say, hey, how's it going? How's your family doing? Things like yeah. that. Does that impact then your desire to return back? Yeah, it was. It was two things. I mean, uh, Tommy obviously had a big impact on it because he's the guy that I always had a good relationship with. Uh, no matter what happened, you know, in the past, um, he's the guy who was always around since the Wizards drafted me in 2012. You know, he, uh, 2013, he went to overseas uh, to see our European champions in Slovenia, and we were always in the touch. Uh, even even after I left Wizards, you know, uh, you, you see the guy around when you go play Wizards, and we always had a good talk together, and uh, always he was always talking to my agent. And uh, second thing was that I, that I didn't mention, I was also excited that Kristaps is in the team, you know, because Kristaps is my good friend from the past. I played with him for three years, 10, 11 years ago. So imagine that, it's 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 pretty crazy. And uh, uh, I always wish that I could play with him again. Uh, so this chance also, uh, it's pretty, pretty awesome, you know, to have. So I'm, I'm also excited for him. Thanks, Adam. Thank you. And our last questions, uh, we'll go to Christos. Hey, Chateau, how are you today? Hey, Christos. First of all, the game in Canada was really painful for us. You getting involved and destroyed, uh, destroyed our uh, Sorry, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want to mention, you know, <laughs> Greece, but I didn't know you were on the call. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Uh, I would like to ask you, a lot of new faces in the team since your last game, 2018-19. Only Thomas Bryant is an active, uh, an active mm -hmm. player. What type of challenge for you is to, to adjust in the new philosophy of coach and self? How What type of challenge for you is to play for this team right now? Well, I feel like uh, a lot of players who are here uh, progressing well and, and know how to play. A lot of a lot of you know players with great experience being around championship a caliber team like uh, KCP and 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 Kyle. You know so. Uh, that all uh, definitely has an impact and just like knowing how to play defensively, offensively, you know, I, I felt like they really competed uh, from the beginning when we played them with New Orleans and, and offensively they were sharing the ball, uh, something that what Wizards in the past not always did. And I, I felt like this is, uh, this is a, something that is a great uh, way to learn and, and, and good way or good, let's say, this is how you play basketball to be successful and I think that's kind of like mentality that you know coach is trying to accomplish here and you know I play with the uh, Gaff too you know in Chicago so it's a lot of familiar faces so that's why I felt even they they have a new you know training staff new new coaching staff it's going to be easier for me uh, you know already knowing so many so many guys here and also you face uh, this team as an opponent, now you join uh, the Wizards. What is the real ceiling of this group from your perspective? Say again? What is the real ceiling of this group from your perspective as you face them and now you join this team? Well, you know, obviously now the situation, I'm trying to focus on the situation where we are right now. You know, this is one month and a half to finish the season. Uh, we 11th, if I'm not mistaken, right now, but, you know, with, with chances. To, to make a push in the East, you know, you always can can do that. And I feel like we have a good schedule to, to be successful in that terms and just fight for the playoff. And and I think this this group always going to play hard until the end, because uh, from what I talk to coach, like that's how he feel. People also feel most responsibility and they will learn the best. So uh, that's also obviously make it interesting for me. And uh, uh, hopefully we can we can be successful in that.